All right, what's happening? Thanks for joining us again. I'm Chris. I'm Pete. And right now we are going to check out, this is, I believe I'm pronouncing it the right way, Nepenthe? That's what we just came up with. Anyway, this is their Hopful IPA. It's uh, from Candia Road Brewing Company in Manchester, New Hampshire. I believe these are the guys that used to actually have Manchester Brewing. Stunley but, Monk. But located in Concord, New Hampshire. Yes. But anyway, that's cool. Cause that's uh, it's close to where I used to live in Londonderry. Like I think my mom used to candle pin bowl next to wherever this brewery is. But you know, little that's stuff, little to, stuff like that brings you a little closer. Way to but, sell it, Chris. Yeah, but um, this just came into the shop, Brewtopia, Key, New Hampshire. Go there. Anyway, um, so this just came in. So being an IPA, it's relatively fresh and it's local. So that's sort of one of the main selling points to me on the IPA because a lot of times we'll get stuff from you know the West Coast where it's like, oh, here's a big, huge, phenomenal IPA. But it's been sitting in warehouses and it's sitting in our warehouses over here. So by the time you get it, it's like December, you're like, oh, oh yeah, this is from, oh, August. And you're not really into it. So I'm losing some of that hot. Huh? Happiness. Right. So when something's from about an hour away, I have a lot more faith in it. You know, like when you go up, you can get Eddie Topper real close. You feel good about it. Um, this comes in at around seven-ish percent. They give you the original gravities on the bottle, and uh, Zach was sort of explaining to me today over the phone. I guess that comes in this one here, where it says uh, one point zero eight zero. I'm not a home brewer. I don't plan on being one in at least the near future, um, but that equals out to around seven-ish percent. I wonder if there's like an iPhone app for that. There's probably there's one. Probably is. But you know, this is they have just a couple beers. Um, they're having to sort of like a core um, line. I think there's this. There's a a pale ale, a stout, and a uh, brown ale. It seems to be pouring quite nicely. It's got that sort of like darker amber hue. Yeah, you can kind of smell it. Yeah. Smell a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's pouring. Off. It's like that's a good finger of just some sort of off white kind of khaki head and yeah, that sort of dark kind of cloudy, dirty orange. Yeah. Yeah, that's rich. Yep. Can't really see through it at all. So yeah, it looks pretty solid. Let's see what it smells like. Seems to be a lot of just sort of earthy, kind of floral hops in there. I'm not getting much in the way of pine yeah, not on this or like citrus. It, it's a lot of it. Got a very, yeah. like a Saison kind of, yeah, definitely earthy. There's a large, you know, amount of, at least in the nose, of uh, malt in the background too. Yeah, it smells good. Well, let's see what we got. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's a really, it's definitely tasting really fresh. That's the one thing I can say about this. It has, and there's there's really no way to, to at least that I can come up with, to verbalize what, what does fresh taste like. But when you have it, you know. Um, you know, just sort of what I think, something I've said before, I was picking hops at a friend's house. And it's like, if you actually just take like a hop, even if, you know, it's, the, whatever the various kinds are, you know, you're chewing on it or whatever, you just get like the raw hop kind of taste. And you, we're throwing them in our beers as we're sitting there picking, you know, you had a bunch of homebrew that you're using it for. We're drinking that with the fresh hops in it. It just has that really sort of pungent kind of hop taste. And it's not a citrus or taste or anything like that, but they were just really earthy, kind of floral. And this is a lot of what I'm getting from it. It almost reminds me a little bit of the, uh, the Green Flash West Coast IPA, mm -hmm. where you're not getting that big citrus sort of taste, at least when I've had it, but it just had like a real kind of grassy, floral, earthy kind of component to it, but it was just really like just dank, just steeped in it. Yeah, there's like definitely a little bit of sweetness in the end, it's sort of, I feel like it's the malt combining um, a lot to sort of maybe the end of some of the, the brighter parts of the hops. But I think it's a 
it's a really, really good tasting IPA, but it's not like your grapefruit citrus bomb. It's got some depth to it or something. It's got some solidity to it as far as an IPA or, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's not just a weak, just, you know, flat kind of flavor. Or it's not just a punch you in the face kind of hoppy right. bitterness. It's, it's got some, I don't, I'm not explaining it well, but it's got, it's a solid beer right. and it's got a nice flavor. No, I, yeah, I really like, I think it's the malt balances with the hops really nicely. Yeah. You know, it overall, this is something, if it's local and it's coming in fresh, I'm going to go for this a lot more often than I am going for something that's like something that's coming in from the west coast it's like hey this one's going to be big and huge because that just came in from the west coast and it might not be as fresh I'm just, I'm just really impressed i think this is a really good ipa from a local company yep that yeah i'll definitely uh be getting a little more of this it's got a, i don't know if i mentioned but it's got a really big full kind of creamy mouth feel yes it does so that's definitely a huge bonus okay yeah that's good stuff. All right, so we're going to keep enjoying the rest of this, whatever's left of it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying something as well, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.